Time now for the odd one out round. Christine O'Donnell, Paul Daniels, Fiona Robertson from the Tour of Attraction, Wookie Hall, and Toulouse from Endubs. Yes, Christine O'Donnell. Uh, she's part of the Tea Party movement in America. She's claimed that still on a TV station about 20 years ago that she was part of... Uh, she wasn't actually a witch, but she knew people who were involved in witchcraft, so that made me think it must be about witchcraft. She is playing a witch, cos in Wookie Hole they have an actress pretending to be a witch, cos a witch yes. supposedly lived in Wookie Hole. Um, and Endubs, a very well-known London grime band... <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> and I, I think there may be some suggestion of witchcraft there. So we're going for Christine O'Donnell, cos she's denying being a witch. Paul Daniels has claimed he's a witch? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the logic's breaking down <laughs> here. <laughs> maybe so, tell us, Mars, please. Well, maybe Daniels, maybe Paul Daniels. Why? Uh, well, he hasn't claimed he's a witch, he's claimed he's a, a magician. That should be the right answer. It is. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> It is true, Paul Daniels has never claimed he was a witch, although in the 80s he was famous for a spell. <laughs> <laughs> the Republican candidate Christine O'Donnell, in a video that emerged from her past, said that one of my first dates was with a witch. We went to a movie and then had a midnight picnic on a satanic altar. <laughs> I think we've all had dates like that. <laughs> <laughs> How did she then distance herself from this quote? She did a, an advert which began with the words, I am not a witch. Spot on. I'm not a witch. <laughs> I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. <laughs> Is that the most crazy political oh, no. broadcast you've you, ever seen? You've got to feel sorry for Obama, cos how do you govern a country that seems to have decided that facts are the work of the devil? <laughs> What's their definition as the Tea Party, the Republican Tea Party, as opposed to the main Republican Party? Well, the, the Republican Party is very, very right-wing, and the Tea Party are mad. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk to Tea Party supporters, I think they all believe different things. The only thing they believe is that they're claiming America back. Yeah, but they don't know who from. <laughs> yeah. From the voices in their head. Yeah. <laughs> well, she has got a lot of crazy opinions. These groups admitted that the report that said, hey, yay, we cloned a monkey, now we're using this to start cloning humans. Let them admit we anything they want. But they won't do that here in the United States unless they all, are, all they craziness are, is gone. They are so doing that here in the United States. Uh, so American scientific companies are crossbreeding humans and animals and coming up with with mice with fully functioning human brains. <laughs> and I want their votes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, any chance of letting me out of this cage? <laughs> there used to be cheese every Tuesday. <laughs> I'm voting Democrats myself. Yes. <laughs> but then I have got a human brain. brain. <laughs> And she's not the only crazy Republican. There's one Republican that's been a YouTube hit with his motivational speech. Has anyone seen this? Yeah. I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican in times bad. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Einstein issued one of my most favorite quotes in the history of the spoken word. And it is as follows. In the middle of opportunity. <laughs> in the middle of difficulty lies the opportunity. I'm going to repeat that so I have clarity tonight. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> 